Hey, this is Darren LaCroix with another Ask Darren. This one comes in from Michael. Uh, Michael asks, I've, several, I've shared several techniques for expelling nervous energy with speakers, and I've had the privilege of coaching and wondered if you had a blog or article suggesting that you can share. Uh, so this is about resources, and this is about expending that energy, and that's a great question. And I do have one on my blog which is about the five minutes before you're going to speak. And what do I do? And I think there's many exercises you can do, stretching, it, it, to each his own, whatever works for you. But expelling that nervous energy is a great idea. Uh, some people uh, jog or some people stretch or some people, uh, whatever works for you. And we have to try that. Uh, I'll tell you a quick insider, when I had so much nervous energy, that when I would start my keynote speeches early in my career, I would actually do a story about being nervous in my very first presentation, my first professional presentation. And I told that story because I could be the character very easily. That was me in the story about being nervous. So it allowed me to use that nervous energy to actually tell the story properly. And then after that, then I would be able to calm down and be a little, uh, connected with myself and my audience. So that was one technique that I use that I don't necessarily recommend, but it worked. Uh, but we need to find the strategy that works for you. I also, in that article five minutes before on my blog, you, uh, you can, number one, this doesn't expel en nervous energy, but it might help ground you, is listen to that power song, that song that works for you. You know the one when you're in a bad mood and you're driving down the road, and then all of a sudden you hear that song, and you, <laughs> and it changes your physiology, what's that song? So get, uh, I remember this from my early days of stand-up, outside the comedy club, I would listen to uh, three of my favorite songs. One of them included was uh, Right Now by Van Halen, that right now, this is what we have. And then before the championship, I listened to Simply the Best by Tina Turner, You Better Be Good to Me by Tina Turner, thinking that the audience was singing it to me, that I needed to remember who I was there for, for them. So that helps. And then the four questions that I ask myself just before I go on stage. And uh, the four questions are, number one, am I present? Sincerely asking myself, am I present? Am I right here, right now with you? Forgetting my problems, leaving them at the door. Uh, number two, what is my intent? Get clear on your intent. And hopefully your intent is focused on the audience, not focused on me looking great. Number three is, will I have fun? Will I have fun? If you want your audience to have fun, you have to have fun first. So you might as well have fun because in an hour, the presentation is going to be over either way. So make it fun. And then finally, from Willie Jolly, uh, how would I give this presentation if I knew it was my last one ever? See, that grounds you. Having the nervous energy, I understand, and expelling it is not a bad strategy, but also consider what can you do to ground you. Those are the four questions that I use. So I hope that was helpful, Mike, Michael. Thanks for asking that question. Uh, if you'd like more answers, you can go to my blog, darrenlacroix.com forward slash blog. Stage time. Stage time.